Look at this. An influencer in the making. Ugh. How many years before she starts twerking for likes on TikTok like her mommy? Yeah, and don't think this is the only one. <laughs> That's right, folks. A new generation of influencers are on the way. Gee, I wonder how that happened. Take a selfie. Everybody thinks they're Cleopatra all of a sudden. Meanwhile, they're just mimicking what Luscious Linda does every weeknight at 3 a.m. on the corner of 5th and Broadway. The only difference is Linda follows everyone back. Remember when narcissism was ugly? Remember when being self-absorbed was a sign of poor character? Yeah, well, now we teach our kids to become everything society hates. Oh, selfie queens. Oh, oh, jump into the selfie. You know, I'm really starting to think that people are so full of themselves that it's one reason why they can't see their enslavement. And I think that's done on purpose. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukadowski of WeAreChange.org. The intro video was by a Joey B. Tunes. Definitely check him out on YouTube. We will link his channel down below. He does excellent commentary about our ever so downtrodden civilization, which uh, is definitely getting more interesting with now China leading the way, pushing for a global health pass which of course would track trace and database you but nothing of course to worry unless you're a Uyghur or a Tibetan or someone involved in politics or values freedom or expression or any enable rights yeah if you're not into any of the things you're, you're totally fine so yeah obviously we're gonna be talking about that plus a lot more as well as how very powerful multinational corporations will also be using this opportunity not only to enrich themselves in record numbers but also control you too so yeah guys lots of fun topics to talk about but before we get into that let's continue on the degradation of our civilization with our ever cesspool filled toxic culture which is starting to make me think that social media should be illegal for anyone under the age of 18. There's another clip posted which is from a new HBO reality show which I was considering about starting this video off but it was too bizarre to even do that. And it's a, a bizarre religious ritual with, with parents who want their kids to be non-binary and it's, it's a weird video of a mom trying to force her child to declare his or her gender in front of a religious congregation of what, what, what looks like D deranged crazy individuals which again glorifies the egotistical narcissistic me 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 peak satanic clown world which the establishment wants you to live in all of this while of course we have peak degeneracy but not all degeneracy is equal as we learned today as youtube decided to terminate the account of eat thought Queen Bella Delphine for, of course, inappropriate content. Meanwhile, individuals with large multinational corporations behind them, like Cardi B, that promotes her favorite establishment candidate, Joe Biden, she's still literally allowed to have her very grotesque, inexplainably confusing, bewildering, buttocks-shaking, meat skeleton suit-shaking, ritualistic mating calls still up on the platform, even though it's just as bad, if not ultimately the same as Bella Delphine. But yeah, thanks for the clarification, YouTube, confirming what we've been saying for a very long time. If you're with the establishment, you're A-OK. -okay. You're not. Oh boy, you're screwed. And that's why, in part, we are sustained and still here on this platform, partly because of the Brave Browser affiliate program, which is ending very soon. I think it ends either today or tomorrow. But of course, if you decided to switch your browser from Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or the Internet Explorer, if you're a crazy person, to Brave, you are also a part of an effort of rewarding yourself and us cryptocurrencies while at the same time getting a faster safer more secure more privacy focused internet experience that i've been hearing people rant and rave about this special affiliate link will be ending so please right now if you have any devices download brave on them they work great on mobile phones in some instances they even save you a ton of battery life i absolutely love brave i love the people behind it i love the mission behind it and if you download brave from our specific link and use it for up to 30 days we get rewarded and so do you with cryptocurrencies that are absolutely skyrocketing right now so yeah 
definitely check out the Brave browser down below. It is more important than ever, especially in the next few hours while their affiliate link still works. Now, um, I do have to say there are some perplexing conundrums in our modern day society as presented to us specifically regarding the conholio sickness situation and i think it's always important to ask questions and to question some of the prevailing logic which is absolutely illogical I'm sorry, but I think we should definitely start asking serious questions when individuals are assaulted and dogpiled on for not social distancing, <laughs> forcing them to not be social distanced. I I I'm sorry, I think this kind of defeats the purpose, as you could see demonstrated in this video, where police officers took matters into their own hand because of a, quote, curfew violation. Get off the street! Go home. Go home. Go home or you're getting arrested. You're under arrest. Curfew. You're under arrest. What do I do? Get down. Stay back. I'm not a part of it. You're under arrest. Stop resisting. Resist. Stop resisting. You guys are putting your knee in me. Get your knee on me. Resist. Get your knee on me. Get your arm. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, doing that for, quote, public safety uh, is not freaking safe. It's utterly ridiculous, but we have been seeing scenes like that play out all around the world in regards to the conholio sickness and, quote, public safety. There also is a lot of perplexing logic with individuals telling us that there's record low flu numbers this year because people are wearing masks and social distancings. Meanwhile, under the same breath, they are also telling you that conholio sicknesses are skyrocketing because people aren't <laughs> wearing masks and aren't social distancing. Which one is it? Politicians not following their own rules and decrees also don't help the situation, especially when it comes to celebrations that they deem okay. Meanwhile, if it's it's a celebration of the family unit and the family structure coming together and have a meal together. Well, now that's, quote, very dangerous. All the while, there has never been an actual discussion about our health. If this is all being done for our health, you would think we would discuss cigarettes, junk food, if these individuals actually cared about our well-being, our safety, and our health, and it doesn't. I have never seen messaging about our immune system, eating right, exercising, exercising, taking the right micronutrients and supplements, making sure your vitamin D levels are normal, except the messaging now is listen to government no matter what idiocy or celebrations they promote because they are always right. And they're not. When we look at the policies instituted by them, we are seeing the direct results of one of the biggest wealth transfers in American, if not human history. Right now, multinational corporations are seeing the biggest of uptick in profits that they have ever seen before, mainly because they're allowed to be open. Small mom and pop businesses, those are the ones getting closed down. Those are the ones getting restricted. Those are the ones getting fined and driven out of business by all these multinational corporations and their CEOs and founders who are friends with, of course, all the politicians that are helping them literally rob you blind of any wealth, of any prosperity. Because guess what? When you have wealth, when you have prosperity, you also have freedom, which it seems that is something that the prevailing ruling establishment is deathly afraid of, according, of course, to my opinion. And that's why it shouldn't surprise everyone that right now China is using this situation and their cozy relationship with the World Health Organization in order to push for a global conholio sickness QR code. Yes, the Chinese President Xi Jinping is pushing the conholio sickness QR tracking system that will quote, according to CNN, help fast-tracked international travel and business during these times. Now, of course, this is a system that China mandated. China is a total Orwellian big brother police state with a social credit score that, of course, will ruin your life if you question the government there. Or they just may or organ harvest you, you know, who knows? At least that's still up to chance and not controlled by the state. The Chinese president said that this, of course, will ensure the smooth functioning of the world economy and that this needs to be done to coordinate a 
uniform set of policies and standards that would be followed globally. Of course, the tracking system would have international health certificates based on tests and medicines that you take or are forced to take in some instances in some countries. And uh, I I'm sorry, giving China the control to track, trace, and database everyone in the world with their international global pass, a country that of course imprisoned and disappeared journalists and doctors who were warning the world about this sickness when they were covering up is not a good idea. Again, this international digital health passport is an idea that we've been talking about for a very long time. Something, of course, that we should be extremely skeptical of. The reality is that this could maybe potentially be a reality. Now, if you consider how strongly China has influenced the World Health Organization, which, of course, many countries listen to, if you look at Joe Biden and his son's personal dealings and business with China, with Joe Biden almost becoming very defensive of China in recent interviews, this could absolutely be a, a possibility, and we shouldn't be kidding ourselves that this could potentially happen. China told the World Health Organization not to recognize Taiwan, and the World Health Organization said, Yes, master, please, more. And the World Health Organization very easily did, even with their representatives specifically ending interviews whenever Taiwan was mentioned. Now, we also have to understand here, China is becoming a very powerful, quote, world leader, mainly because of the doing of American elites like Henry Kissinger and the late David Rockefeller, who, quote, opened up China to the world, or in other words, sold out the American working class in exchange for higher profit margins by exploiting global inequality and human slavery in China, which multinational corporation giants like Apple are literally arguing and lobbying to continue <laughs> the practice of. Yes, Apple is, according to the Washington Post, a part of a major lobbying effort against a bill that would stop companies from using forced labor in China. And again, this wouldn't be surprising since, of course, slaves in China, like the Uyghur Muslims, according to many investigations, have been found working on, quote, American corporations, production lines, giving you the basic household items that you use every day. And when you start understanding that the, quote, American establishment ruling class, Mr. Joe Biden himself, and all the multinational corporation executives and big tech oligarchs he keeps putting in his, quote, transition team and administration, once you really start seeing what's going on here, it's absolutely terrifying since, of course, the will of the people is non-existent. This is the will of the new oligarchs. This is dangerous. It needs to be called out. And guess what? Many of these top corporate heads are all on the same page and they believe more control, more restrictions, less privacy is what is best for them and their profits. As we even have the Qantas CEO coming out recently and saying that if you're going to want to fly internationally, he believes you need to have one of these international health certificates certifying that you took the rushed, never before, first ever in recorded human history jab medicine against the Conholio sickness. The United Kingdom, not to be outdone, is also proposing their own, quote, freedom passes. It's as if they were literally trying to think of the most Orwellian double speak word that they could because, you know, nothing says freedom pass like being forced to take an experimental medicine and have every one of your little moves track, traced, and databased by Big Brother. Sorry, that's... That's the new freedom pass that all the lovely people in the United Kingdom who are like little lemmings who bent over and took it will be, quote, receiving. If, of course, some government plutocrats get their scheme through, but that certainly looks like the, where they are headed. As, of course, the UK government just recently just got the green light to use people's personal information from their phones in order to track, trace, and database you. This article says help allegedly fight the conholio sickness. Yes, be, because government governments never used emergency declarations and situations in order to gobble up as much power as they could for themselves. History never teaches us this important lessons that we should give up our freedoms for temporary security. There never has been a lesson like that. Now, of course, China wants to be the supreme leader when it comes to track tracing and databasing people as we are covering here, but it looks like they can't even get their own house in order as you are seeing right now crazy video of 
Shanghai airport employees literally running <laughs> away from tests that they were scheduled to have after, of course, two cases emerged from the airport. The government came in trying to, of course, test everyone. The workers who were amassed in the parking lot just said no and decided to push through and it run away. Very wild footage of, of course, emerging from, of course, China, a country that very oddly is, quote, completely avoiding this entire sickness. Epicenters like Wuhan, individuals aren't even wearing masks. There's no mandate to social distance, but they are some of the poorest, most populated and polluted country in the world, and yet still they're unaffected by the Conholio sickness. So yeah, definitely something is up that we still don't know the full truth about. And until we do, and until we actually have some transparency, hell, even then, I'm still not getting some international travel passport document made by China. It's absolutely ridiculous. When we look at their records of, of human rights violations, buying on protest groups, even domestically here in the United States, as even recently, a New York City police officer was arrested for spying for China on the Tibetan community. And it definitely looks like some politicians in the United States are trying to mimic the actions of China, which absolutely deserves to be called out. It's also important to note here that people in Venezuela literally have more freedom than most parts in the United States, as in Venezuela, they have, quote, voluntary quarantines and, quote, seven days of radical consciousness. Literally, people in Venezuela are more free than the large group in the United States right now. And to think that this would ever happen that this would be what would happen in 2020 is, is absolutely mind-boggling. If you agree, share this video with your friends and family members. It's more important than ever. Even co-workers, even neighbors. You see a random guy walking down by the street, be like, Hey, go watch this video right now. You need to see this messaging because, of course, the algorithms usually isn't very favorable to this at all, since, of course, they're also a part of getting the record amounts of profit and a part of some of the ruling establishment that we've been talking about here. So, yeah, you know, I... I, I <laughs> share this video. It's more important than ever. And because you do, I am still here. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.